Hallelujah. 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 In one minute, while you are seated, I want you to open your mouth and begin to declare everything you know the word says about you. Don't think this is a childish act in the spirit. Speak. I am the head, and in the name of Jesus, I'm not the tail above and not beneath gentiles come to my light kings to the brightness of my rising in the name of jesus christ i grow in wisdom i grow in stature i grow in favor with god and with man i spend my life serving the purposes of the kingdom in the name of jesus the fullness of my days i fulfill a thousand shall fall by my side someone speak Ten thousand by my right side none shall hurt me with my eyes will I see and behold the reward of the wicked pray oh death where is your sting oh grave where is your victory in the name of Jesus Christ immune from the scorching tongues of men I go from glory to glory grace to grace in the name of Jesus I am like a well-watered garden planted in the house of God. Therefore, I flourish in the courts of our God. Even in old age, I am fat and flourishing. Someone prophesy. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever speak over your body i walk in health in the name of jesus christ longevity is my portion hallelujah can i tell you this listen listen please listen one of the assignments of the spirit of depression is to bring you to a point of silence where you no longer can speak the only thing that comes out of your mouth is hmm, nigeria that's not a word-based confession when you wake up in the morning while you are stretching that should be your speaking this is the day that the lord has made when you are leaving your house in the morning you get up with joy my going out is blessed my coming in is blessed i am blessed in the city when you're about to travel it to your village you confess that i am also blessed in the country in the name of jesus christ that no enchantment and no divination against me listen you don't need to live in fear when you can speak you hear a negative report don't insult whoever is speaking because people are at different spiritual levels someone looks at you and says look it looks like um this your body everything is all right you can thank them and go back and shut the door behind you a body has thou prepared for me in the name of the lord jesus i decree and declare my organs are functioning properly i prophesy by the power of the holy ghost as my days are so is my strength renewed you have to believe this thing i'm telling you you are a man of god speak over the work that he has given you don't wait for someone to prophesy over you in the name of jesus koinonia you are blessed you are going from glory to glory serving the purposes of the kingdom with love and integrity serving god sincerely souls are coming to be saved jesus spent his life speaking the word of god himself spoke let me tell you many of us what we call speaking is lamentation if it is not the word of God you are not doing Bible based confession speaking your problem to God yes to yourself is not helping anything you speak the word of God call your children can I tell you parents let me charge you as your children get up before they go to school lay hands on them give them confessions to make 
I'm blessed, highly favored, anointed, serving Jesus. That's right. And you give them a big hug, forward march to school. So that before they hear rubbish there, there is already a covering of scripture. Don't let other people speak into the life of your children and you are silent. Part of the assignment of priesthood is speaking. Speak over your home. Walk around from the kitchen to the bathrooms and you are declaring in the name of Jesus. The hand of the Lord is upon this house. Everyone who steps his feet in this house is blessed. I decree and declare. Carry the photo of your loved ones. Lay hands on it. Carry the photo of your family members. Lay your hands on it. Decree and declare. Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Confession. Are you learning now? Bible faith is released at the instance of confession. I made up my mind to love Jesus so much, but to love my destiny too so much. You will never coerce me into speaking negatively about my destiny. I could laugh over things when I hear people say it, but even my spirit knows what I take seriously. I have no business saying anything over my life and my destiny that I do not intend for it to happen. Are we together? Parents, let's manage anger and trust God for victory over it because many of us have produced children that look like they are cursed and that cost came from us. When you call a child stupid boy, you call a child arm robber, you call a child whatever, prostitute, you call a child whatever name, by the time they get to teenage, that prophecy has built, many of us, that's what has been hovering around your head. Negative things. Dull head. How are you? And they force you to say, sir, and you are agreeing. And before you know it, you find out that nothing works for you. But let me speak over your life. If there is anybody who has spoken over your life, whether in ignorance and they have said things over you that is hanging over your life, I stand tonight by the privilege of priesthood and I declare every negative speaking over you that has been programmed to your destiny let it leave your destiny now in the name of jesus please sit down deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 just write it for reference it says it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord thy god to observe and to do take note to observe and to do all his commandments which i command thee this day that the lord thy god will set thee on high above the nations of the earth too and this blessing shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god there is the doing of faith joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth then he says but thou shalt meditate there in day and night you see your mouth you see meditation now he says that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and thou shalt have good success john 13 and verse 17 final scripture for that point john 13 and verse 17 if ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. The doing part is where many believers miss it out on the, on the, the equation of faith. Most believers do not do. Haven't heard, received instructions, we do not do. The Holy Ghost speaks to you, you do not do. Scripture speaks to you, there is no doing. And every time there is no doing, you do not commit God to perform. Bishop Oedeko says, faith is not just saying what God has said. Faith is doing what God has said. The, the demands that commit his integrity to perform. For instance, you want to prosper. You are finding out the secret of kingdom prosperity. Now you've learned God has spoken about giving and all of that. It does not just stop in giving alone. There is a place of diligence and value and productivity. 
now you are a giver you've given tithe you've given offerings but you are not productive you are going to be poor believe me at best you will struggle you will just have one time breakthroughs that come but you cannot perpetuate wealth that way a diligent hand shall be made fat are we together You are a man of God and you desire excellence in ministry. There is an engracing of God that comes upon you to anoint you. But it says, study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. That means there is a place for study. And if you do not stay with material, stay with the Holy Ghost to study, shame will be imminent. most believers do not satisfy the conditions that are connected to the promises they desire to see happen in their lives can i tell you this every promise of god to you has a condition connected to it find out the condition and obey find out the condition and obey for instance the bible is clear as to those who serve idols that you cannot serve idols and serve the living god you cannot mix fresh water and and salty water together there are people who serve idols and then they they come to church and expect things to work well for them i've shared with you the scripture woe to those who go down to egypt those who pass through fire and do all kinds of necromancy and divination if it is not jesus christ only then it is not him at all are we together I'll tell you the reason why many people live defeated lives even in the area of finances sincerely speaking and I'm, I'm not this this is an opinion in my opinion I believe that most people are lazy and then those who work are not productive Pro being productive is not activity it is intelligence intelligence on your level is what brings productivity many people are just shadow boxing and hustling laboring from morning till night they are not circumspect the bible says to be circumspect to walk as wise and not as unwise conserve your energy and coordinate it intelligently are we together yeah. actions of obedience there is a direct connection between relationships and victory and excellence the bible teaches that so after you have studied the principles then you now begin to learn the principles of relationships so that by it god will connect you to strategic destiny helpers like the law of honor like the law of value you understand these principles you are now ready to rise you are only having the readiness to judge every disobedience if and when your own obedience is complete believers listen to me please you must be ready to act on the word you must be ready to take steps of obedience please underline that because for many of us this is where we are found wanting we know what god said should be but we have not taken our time to study the demands the demands for an excelling life the demands for an anointed life it does not just come by luck actions of obedience.